In this video, we'll take a look at how you can fix Wi-Fi issues when trying to browse the web. If you find that your computer can't connect to any available Wi-Fi networks, then there's a number of things you can do to try and resolve the issue. One of the first places you can check is with your modem. You can try and reboot the modem to see if this helps, as at times your modem can get itself in a bit of a muddle and will require a reboot from time to time. Secondly, you can try and switch your computer from Wi-Fi to using a wired Ethernet connection if possible. If you find the wired connection works okay, but the Wi-Fi doesn't, then there's a number of settings on your computer we can check to try and resolve this. For the next fix, we'll check the Wi-Fi and flight mode settings are correctly set. If you have flight mode enabled, then you'll normally see a little plane icon in the taskbar. Plus having this on will also turn off Wi-Fi. Here you can click on flight mode to turn this off. And you can see it turns your Wi-Fi back on. And then it will also show a list of the available networks again for you to connect to. You can also open the network and internet settings. Here the status tells me that I'm not connected to any networks. Click on the Wi-Fi bar and check your Wi-Fi is turned on. If it's off, then turn this on. Then go to flight mode. Here you can see the Wi-Fi is on. Make sure flight mode is turned off here, as when this is on, it will stop all wireless communications like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Also, some laptops have a little switch or button on the side to turn Wi-Fi on or off, so check this as well. The next fix is to check that your Wi-Fi network adapter is enabled. From the taskbar, do a search for control panel. Then go to Network and Sharing Center and change adapter settings. If you see that your Wi-Fi adapter is disabled, then you can right click on it and enable this. Just give it a few seconds to enable the adapter again. If it was connected to a Wi-Fi network previously, then it will re-authenticate it from its list of known networks. For the next fix, you can use the built-in Windows 10 Troubleshooter tool, which can help with network issues. Go to Start and Settings, then Network and Internet. Here you can go to Troubleshoot, which will be in the Status area. It will then go off and detect issues and will start the network diagnostics. Select your Wi-Fi adapter from the list and next. It will then run the network diagnostics against the Wi-Fi adapter and attempt to resolve the issue or will give recommendations on what it thinks the issue is. So for example, if it's telling me I can't connect to a network, it will give me a list of Wi-Fi networks for me to choose from. I'll just select show me a list of available networks. And I'll pop in the password for the wireless network. And that's now connected. Back on the Troubleshooter tool, you can check to see if the problem is fixed. And that will come back to verify that the issue has now been resolved. Now this is just an example, and if it's something else that's caused an issue, then the network troubleshooting tool will try and help identify the issue. The next fix you can try is by doing a network reset. Go to Start, Settings, Network and Internet. Then at the bottom of the window, go to Network Reset. Now here it will tell you that it will remove and then reinstall all your network adapters and set other network components back to their original settings. Also be aware that your computer will also be restarted during this process. Select reset now. This will get you to confirm that you want to reset your network settings. So let's go ahead and select yes to this. This will then tell you that your computer will shut down in 5 minutes, so make sure any programs you have open are closed. After the restart, see if this resolves your issue. 
The next fix to try will be to see if any updates have been applied to your network drivers. It's possible that Windows Updates has updated drivers through its monthly patching cycle which could have affected your Wi-Fi driver. Do a search for Device Manager from the taskbar and we'll open it up here. Once in Device Manager, expand Network Adapters. Then right click on your Wi-Fi driver and go to Properties and then the driver tab. Now the area you want to look at is the rollback driver option here. If an update to the driver has happened through Windows Updates then this option will allow you to roll back to the previous driver that was working. Or maybe you installed an updated driver which is now causing you issues. Either way this feature allows you to roll back to your last working driver. Now you can see that the rollback driver option is not available for me as it's greyed out so not applicable here. But if yours is not greyed out then it's worth rolling back to see if this resolves your issue. The next fix is to reinstall the Wi-Fi driver. By doing this you can uninstall the driver and Windows will rescan your system to make sure you're using the most suitable driver for this device. To do this do a search for device manager from the taskbar. Expand network adapters. Right click on your Wi-Fi adapter. Now you can uninstall here or you can do this from properties. Go into the driver tab and here we'll uninstall the device driver. Now make sure you don't select the delete the driver software for this device as Windows will need the software to automatically install the driver again. So let's select uninstall. This will uninstall the device from your computer. And there you go, that's now removed the driver from your computer. Now for Windows to reinstall the driver automatically again, go to action at the top of the window, then scan for hardware changes. This will go ahead and scan your computer for hardware changes and it will pick up the Wi-Fi device again, then look for the most suitable driver to use for this. Because we didn't tick the box to delete the software in the previous prompt, Windows might decide to use these drivers again, or use another driver to reinstall the device as the most suitable driver. So that's now reinstalled, and hopefully one of these fixes in this video helped you out. So I hope you found this video useful, and if it helped you out then let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave a like on this video, and subscribe for more tutorials.